Uh, ladies and gentlemen, this brings us to the end of the swearing-in ceremony. Uh, now I want to request the chair, the Right Reverend Eliud Wabukala Omkehe, to give a few remarks. Reverend Wabukala, please. Chief Justice, the Attorney General, the Vice Chair of the ESC, and the entire team who are here, I greet you all. Good afternoon. Today I feel greatly honored and humbled as I take over the mantle of the Chairman of the Ethics and the Corruption Commission, the premier institution mandated to combat and prevent corruption in this country. Firstly, I wish to express my sincere gratitude to His Excellency the President of the Republic of Kenya, Honorable Uhuru Kenyatta, to the Parliament who took me through the vetting process and approved my application, the people of Kenya for the faith and confidence that you have shown in my capability of leading the fight against corruption. I will derive much strength in that confidence as I discharge my duties and I assure you of my commitment to deliver. I am aware that I am joining a commission where the perception of corruption in the country is extremely high. However, having worked in this sector for about 12 years, I am aware of the challenges facing the fight against corruption in this country. <coughs> And I believe that the experience I have will be important as I take over as chair of the ESC. As I join the commission, I wish to sincerely thank the commissioners, management and staff of the ESC for their commitment to duty. I join this commission as a team leader, and together we shall endeavor to execute the mandate of the commission as we are obligated under the Constitution. As I have continually reiterated, especially during my appearance before the interviewing panel and parliament, I am committed to strengthen the Constitution of ESC so that it continues to deliver on its mandate efficiently and effectively. Towards this objective, I will join with my fellow commissioners and management of the Commission in lobbying for resources to enhance its capacity and tenacity, and also ensure that its presence is felt across the country. I'm aware that I will be coming on the board where the Commission and other stakeholders have established important collaborations which are meant to harmonize and corruption activities. I'm committed to deepen the existing collaborations and to cultivate more of such uh, engagement in order to add value and to take the war on corruption to even higher levels. I firmly believe that the war against corruption in this country can be won, can be won but it requires multi-pronged strategies, bring together all sectors, including government institutions, the private sector, the media, the religious uh, groups, and most importantly, the general public. Fighting corruption should not be left entirely on the Commission. Those in positions of leadership, especially the cabinet secretaries, principal secretaries, the chief executive officers, governors, and accounting officers must take responsibility and also be held personally answerable for what happens in their respective ministries, departments, and counties. I wish particularly to appeal to the private sector in our country to partner with us in the Commission 
in this war against corruption, and especially in the implementation of the newly enacted Bribery Act 2016. This law is, a long, is long overdue and should not have come at a better time. As a member of the religious fraternity, I call upon all the faith groups to seize the moment and join the Commission in its efforts to restore God-given dignity to the people of Kenya. To the rest of the Kenyans, I appeal to you to take up your roles and support the fight against corruption. Do not watch from the sidelines and also do not be part of the problem. Together, we shall surely slay this terrible dragon called corruption. It may take time, but the victory is ours. As I conclude, I would like to express my gratitude to the Honorable Chief Justice and also the President of the Supreme Court for establishing and continuing operationalization of the High Court Division on Corruption and Economic Crimes. This is a welcome development which will go a long way to address the persistent delays in the conclusion of cases. This notwithstanding, I call upon our magistrates who hear the criminal corruption cases to impose deterrent sentences on those who are convicted, as this is critical in the war against corruption, if it's to be won. And it's my belief that it will be, with God's help, uh, we shall win it. We are determined to win the war. <clears throat> I wish, as I conclude, to call upon a Kenyan society that it is time for us not to be self-critical, not to be cynical, and create that spirit of self-centeredness, which actually breeds greed and funds corruption. Always we look at our glass and we say, our glass is half full. It's not half full. We say it's half empty. Let us be people of hope. Develop the attitude of thankfulness. Let us see our glass as half full always. Because God has given us so many talents which we can make use of and make our country good. I call upon us to stop stealing from public resources. Let us from today not steal public good. I want to finish by saying that we as Kenyans should now replace in our hearts the spirit of generosity. Generosity is a spirit that if it takes us, all of us, it will dispel the self-centeredness that is so common. And so I call upon all of us to create that spirit of generosity in order to create a country that is loved and so loved by God so that we can have um, all the work that we do at ESCC will give glory to God and this work will give honor to the country of Kenya. May God bless Kenya and may God give us prosperity into the future. Thank you so much.